I think everyone knows my love of cats. I've done all kinds of things, but nothing about cats. I've grown up with cats. Cats really are nicer than people. Meow! I hope this little book may do some good for the Cats Protection League. And it, it, that does need money. The love of cats goes in my family, because my mother was very much a cat person. So I've always been so... It's always been a very, a very catty place. Mm -hmm. I like it very much. It's beautifully produced and the photographs have come out very well indeed, so yes, I couldn't be happier. No, not really. Most of my writing has been astronomical. Not all of it, of course, but nothing like this. <laughs> Certainly nothing about cats. <laughs> People ask me how many books I've written. It's over a hundred. I can't tell you more than that because I don't really know. <laughs> I didn't really know if I could do it or not or how it would come out, so I said, I'll have a go. It didn't take me long once I got started. And I won't say it was difficult because it wasn't. Uh, a few hours when I was like, well, I really got down to it. I, I enjoyed writing this book. I had then had my two cats, Ptolemy and Jeannie, and Jeannie, of course, sadly is no longer with us. But um, I enjoyed writing it. They were both fussing around me while I did. <laughs> I wonder if they knew what I was writing about. I was sort of thinking they probably did. Ptolemy in particular, because Ptolemy is a very intelligent cat. He generally knows what's going on. I started writing a book called Travelers in Space and Time. And I wrote the first three chapters. And there was a way it wasn't quite right. There was something wrong with it. I didn't quite know what. And I finally went to bed one night and put the manuscript down on my desk. In the morning, I found that Spudgy had performed all over it. Can I clean this up? No, I can't. <laughs> I'd be thrown away and start again. And the second time I started was very much better. So he, he did me a good term. It was the, the worst review I've ever had, but I'm certainly his helped. <laughs> I've grown up with cats. Well, when I was born, I had two cats. Jeannie and a black one also named Ptolemy. And um, I loved these cats from the world go. And when the first one died, when I was ten, he was nine, they had to call the doctor and sedate me. I was as upset as that. And I've always had a cat, one or two. I wonder how this book will go down. If it makes any money, I'll give it to the Cats, cats Protection League. So I hope they make something out of it. There's a branch of it down here, based in Sittleton, only a few miles from me, and I am patron of it. But I dare not go there. I'd come back with a car and kittens. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a fairly big garden here, and all the good causes take it over in the summer. We've got um, plenty of room to park, plenty of garage space, and they, uh, it goes right down the house. They put out their swords and things. So we have we have all of them, I think. Um, hospital protections leave all those, and the cats protection league always had the had the big annual fate here, and usually make quite a lot of money, a lot of money out of it. We do our best for them.
If the book goes down well, I wonder who will read it. We're looking at the cover, it's fairly obvious the general tone of it. I would say I hope any cat lover. So we'll see what happens. But people seem to like it. Well, the Sky Night fans know all, know all about me, I think. Of course, they've done their many, many uh, programs down here. And Tom and I usually managed to get in some of them, too. <laughs> <laughs> you even had fan letters. What a, what a lovely tale you've got. <laughs> she has. I think they'll understand. They will, they will be at all surprised. If cats had their own planet, do you want to say... I hope they I hope they make a better success of it than, than we've done of ours so far. <laughs> or as I say, my uh, cats really are nicer than people. <laughs> I go out the halls. I come in late. With muddy shoes or something. Oh be careful you don't spoil the carpets, I think. And uh, on the other hand, the cats are bound up saying, Meow, good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> They never, they never criticise. I said, I can talk elementary cat, and I would know if they were. Many animals and birds are represented in the sky, and there isn't a cat there. There was one, Phyllis the cat, or Phyllis the cat, but unfortunately, when they had the revived the constellations and took out some of the small, unnecessary ones, it didn't survive the act. So. I, I, I regret that. We took out the owl at the same time as we, we lost the owl and the pussy cat. My cat's third day, well, only one cat now, sadly. Uh, sleeps on my bed always. Wake up in the morning, have breakfast, then go for a stroll in, in his special cat garden, and generally have a time there. I think it's always there now. And come in and make friends of Ava, make friends with whoever's here. Go to sleep, have lunch, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> she, who died a month ago, she was a black and white cat. She was a lovely cat. But she and Tommy have lovely natures. They would never scratch or bite anybody. And they're very clean, so they have the same kind of nature. I miss Jeannie Tillery. She was such a wonderful cat. She, I know she had a perfect life. She slipped quietly away. And I will see her again. I will say to cat lovers everywhere, do what you can to help. There are plenty of neglected cats and cats with unhappy homes. Well, try and seek them out and do your best to help them. Maybe I could come back as a cat. Meow! <laughs> <laughs>